Well, it is Sunday morning here in Northern California. Beautiful day. March 21st, I think, is where we are today. Does that seem right? Probably. I uh, just wanted to let you know some of the things that happened around here yesterday. Again, this daily update thing, I gotta keep you up on every, every day because too much is happening. A um, couple of video responses went up. Buddy's uh, version of Fire and Rain and... Uh, oh, the Two of Us collaboration. I had a couple of suggestions for uh, Damien and Mark as to things that could, um, that could improve their video a little bit. But uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out that collaboration, the, it is now up in the video responses area so that uh, everybody can see it rather than just the target members. So um, we do have one other really cool thing that happened that uh, we managed to get out yesterday for the target members. I've had a long, series, long running series of things called the Acoustic Genius Series and part of the whole deal is to really help you as an acoustic guitar player or an electric guitar player or a flute player, whatever you happen to play, to understand a little bit more about theory and really just to have a grasp on it and not be so afraid of it by hearing it in sort of um, every man's terms, I hope. So um, there have been six lessons, all referred to as fundamentals so far. Well, lesson seven, fundamental seven, just uh, was put out yesterday. And it is called Chords in a Major Key. It talks about how you can be playing, how you can know what chords you're going to play. You can work on a song like Sister Golden Hair and know why all those chords are in the key of E. And know then when maybe how to play it in the key of G or D or even B flat. Although, save that for the next lesson. So we talk about the five common keys to playing in the guitar, and, and there's uh, a lot of vital information in there. So if you haven't had a chance to check out the latest installment of the Acoustic Genius series, Building Blocks, um, Music Theory for Every Man, be sure to check it out now, so it's up there for the target members. The, uh, let's see, we had something else. Oh, I wanted to talk about two things, two last things that are on my list here of things that I wanted to mention today. One is the, uh, I brought this up yesterday and I've been talking about it a lot, the song voting is really cool. I love seeing all these recommendations and um, within the next couple weeks I'm going to take something from the top five probably and make sure that, it, that a lesson gets, gets done on it. But there is something in the top 20 right now that I believe is coming out tomorrow so we'll let this, no, or this next week, sometime next week. Um, we will let the speculation begin, and I know which one you guys think it's going to be. It's not. There you go. Enough said on that. But you will be surprised. The, um, and, I, and, and with it being Sunday, I wanted to say a special hello and thanks to one of our members who's been around for a long time that has done some great stuff for the site, and that's Chaz in New Zealand. So um, if you haven't had a chance to check out, every week he puts up a column uh, in the forum, the Week in Review column, that has a great little history of all kinds of cool things that happened in the history of music. Well, not going back to say, let's say, to Shakespeare or anything, but at least going back to Elvis, and maybe even sometimes the 20s and 30s, depending on what all was going on then. But, but um, I really enjoy reading, as, as you might know, because of the, some of my comments on things, I am really fascinated by music trivia and little tidbits of information and stuff like that. Um, and almost always the stuff that comes up in Chaz's column is stuff that I have not been on top of. So I really appreciate these little tidbits that he, that he passes on in, uh, in his Week in Review column. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out sometime. It's, it's full of uh, fascinating info. So anyway, Chaz, special thanks to you today for keeping us update and updated, or at least uh, letting it, or, or up on history. That's more of it, more what's going on. I'm trying to keep you updated. We let him keep you up on history. So um, anyway, that is it for today. I will uh, be back tomorrow with um, news from today.